I'm Crane, and we're gonna play some Wind Waker Rando. Uh, so we're doing what's called standard race settings. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Crane. Should I throw in a three for you, Tanjo, or not? <laughs> sure. No oh, plus your run. We'll put, a, put a two in there, too. Oh yeah, 32. Perfect. And we're gonna start, and we'll the, like so this will take a bit of time so we'll have plenty of time to explain everything that's going on but it's going to start off a little insane so i hope everyone's ready because we're starting in three two one now i'm ready that's really good i'm not um oh we're <laughs> post box post wow. box yeah. nice. <laughs> uh, okay yeah. everyone so wind waker rando has a lot of custom models and I picked my favorites, and I set it to randomly select one, and I did not know which one I got. So we were playing as the Postbox Man. Yeah. This is a custom model by Big Shark Z, and it is fantastic. Um, yeah, pretty new model. Too. What, are you, what are you doing, Crane? Why are you sailing to this island? Uh, so I'm sailing to this very specific island because logic is a suggestion that I've never been a big fan of. Wow, um, breaking logic. Oh shoot, we messed that up. Oh, this is part of the setup. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is not a backup, this is the main up. Uh, yeah. So, I'm Crane, obviously, if my couch wanted to introduce, that was way too early, want to introduce themselves, that would be fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm Tanjo3, I'm a fellow runner of Crane. Of we, st uh, Crane uh, we started at the same time. <laughs> I'm uh, the Dean Machine, and I also do Wind Waker running. Um, retired from speed running because the games digressed. <laughs> I'm nice. Nice. Yeah, that was good. First try. Yep. So what we just did there is by jumping into the big octo, we... No! No! <laughs> wow. I, I was trying to be set. too fast. Yeah, that would be the best idea. Um, by jumping into the big octo, we kind of... It bugs out a little bit, and the game is like, well, I don't know where to put you now. Because the big octo didn't shoot me out, and I didn't die out of my boat. A actual first try. Nice. So it puts me on top of the island. Yeah. And this... Yeah, the randomizer actually randomizes the SD ISO, but because you're given the swift sail in randomizer, this trick is possible. I mean, there are other methods that we could do in regular SD, but they're kind of dumb. Yeah, so, yeah we don't talk about that game. <laughs> <laughs> so, we only talk about the superior. I know, Rusty, it's amazing. For those who have not played Wind Waker, the goal of the game is to defeat Ganondorf. And in the randomizer, we need to get all the items we need to access this boss fight, including light arrows, a fully powered Master Sword, four shards, uh, and anything oh, okay. we need to get those shards. Oh. Those bombs are going to be a very nice grab already. Very, yeah. very nice. Um, bombs are pretty broken in this game. Dean, do you want to explain why I keep pulling out my Wind Waker when I try to save? Crane pulls out his Wind Waker and then presses start. It puts the cursor straight to the save button on the main menu, which saves um, however many frames it would take you to do that. However, if uh, Crane was needing to like equip a couple items or something, um, he would optimally want to do that before saving, which would make sure, which he would not want to grab the Wind Waker before pressing start there tiny yeah. optimizations but overall they're gonna save the seconds which are gonna make you win you know race against myself rusty this isn't a baby seed um so the reason i did that little map check again is because i only need to beat four dungeons hey <laughs> oh, okay. nice that's a Nice find. Yeah. What four dungeons are we beating this time? Uh, we are doing Forsaken Fortress, Tower of the Gods, uh, Forbidden Woods, and Earth Temple. Gosh dang it. Okay. 
A lot of good dungeons. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tander, can you explain what race? Did you already explain what race mode was? I was a little. There we go. Focused well, on right. something. So the settings that Crane's playing on right now include race mode. So basically, there are six dungeons in the game, and in race mode, Crane only has to complete four of them. Uh, the bosses of these four dungeons are guaranteed to drop a shard. So. Nice, because the other two dungeons are completely empty of any potential pr progress items, which, um, if you look back on the Season 1 or <laughs> 2, there's a reason that race mode became a thing. There's yeah. a lot of races that kind of came down to the last two dungeons being like wind temple or earth temple and then one runner chose one and one chose the other and it that was the complete determinant of the race so having race mode basically closed the gap of luck but i don't know it it's still luck based but it's not as luck based so we just did storage twice um <laughs> we did storage in the in the cliff to get the uh, chest there, but we don't know what it is until hitting the loading zone. And then when we hit the loading zone, we get storage again. Nice. Yes, very nice. And then going over this quadrant wall uh, is technically another loading zone. Oh, nice. Nice smear shield. Yeah. Yep. Wow, this is early game already. <laughs> Pog. This is a baby seed. That sucks. Yeah. Um. You know, you just want you want some exciting seeds, not just a full jet seed. Oof. That made it more exciting. Um, so, a lot of people might say, you know, like, walls are suggestions. For Wind Waker Rando and Wind Waker in general, it's more like walls are floors or nothing at all. Because they're... It's such a broken game in some ways. Yeah. So, like, this gate, suggestion. <laughs> yeah, chest storage is one of the most powerful tricks. Have we even yeah. described storage yet? We have not. Um, so, <laughs> well. what, so what storage is, is Link has sort of two states in this game. He has a playable movable state and more of like a non-movable cutscene state. And by doing a Wind Waker dive or falling with our Wind Waker Dewey out this and then canceling three frames before we hit the ground because there's a three frame input delay with the game. So it's really registering you canceling when you hit the ground you get what's called storage, and that allows you to store the next event that would put you into a different state. The events you can store are, what, doors, chests, and... Doors, uh, chests, cutscenes, cut scenes, death, um... Text, death storage. <laughs> text, camera lock. Those are the main ones that come to mind. Yeah. Are, Are you gonna super swim from it. Bomb Island? <laughs> you know, that actually might... Mm, that's a really tempting, like, Bomb Island to Eastern Ferry, but no. Yeah. yeah. I would We're always not. route that if I get power bracelets or bombs early on. Oh, by the way, our bomb is absolutely massive, and I'm terrified of bomb drop. <laughs> oh, no. Is it actually physically bigger? No, it's the same hitbox, it just looks bigger. Okay. Yeah. Nope. There's a couple models in this game that are uh, interesting play experience. <laughs> like Captain Falcon made... I, I did... That was a very bad experience for me. <laughs> yeah. It can be hard to switch between different models. Uh, which is why most of us stick to one model. If you find a model that's very similar to how Link behaves in his hitbox and stuff, because a couple of the other models have like smaller hitboxes, uh, but the ones that are very, very similar to the vanilla Link in this game are really usable. So these ledges are hard. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to explain just some quick stuff that I've done in Bomb Island. So the reason I threw those two bombs at first is the first one will never actually get the magtail out, but the second one will. And 
if you timed it right and it's like really precise, uh, it's just in the right spot where you can uh, pick it up and not fall in. In my case, I picked it up and then fell in. Uh, this is like a minor time save because you don't have to deal with RNG of like that, accidentally killing the thing, or of stabbing. <laughs> yeah. Or of stabbing it. A... Runners kind of don't talk about this island. This is uh. We we hate it, and I'm glad to get it out of the way early. This this island nobody likes. This island. <laughs> Um, another optimization that I tried to do, but I kind of, it's also, oh gosh dang it, really precise, is on that switch that I pushed originally, you can jump slash out of it. Uh, think look at this nice this model. This is such a great model, model, guys, so look. The reason this model exists is because... Um, one of our fellow randomizer commentators was always memeing. He's like, I, until I can play as a post box, I'm not going to be happy. And lo and behold, months down the line, we get a post box model. Wait, was I targeting the magtail in the back? I think like, you might have been, yeah. <laughs> this is a well-designed game. This horrendous island is over with. <laughs> Ooh, Moblin Slayer. Interesting. The fact that that was halls. actually required. I already have a delivery bag and a letter. That's going to really expedite your first visit to Windfall Island. Yep. And very thematic as a, the post box, man, too. Dear Runner, I have to ask, do you obsessively shave or do you just not grow beard hair? Yes and yes. Um... So I shave for events because the facial hair my body does grow is terribly thin and terrible. So when I have events that I know that like I should be presentable for, for example, a stream. Wow, I can jump. A stream or like going out, then I'll shave. So I shaved this morning. Did you ever highlight your stream that you shaved on? I actually have not done my shave stream yet. That's the weird oh, part. Oh, what? I, I, I know. paid good subscriptions for that. It's okay. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it soon. Oh, I need to grow up a little facial hair first. Yeah, I need to give it like another two weeks of facial hair growth. Um. So why What's I just got on? storage is we're waiting for Mila. Mila takes two minutes, which is horribly slow. So we're also going to get some of these pots around. Um, so I got storage, and I stored a door. Bro. Rip. Rip. Let's see, where is Mila? Is Mila... I don't know where she is, so I'm going to stay right here. Um, oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah. If I do no shave November, I just look like a patchy, scruffy 12 year old. It's great. Um, so I got storage and I stored that upper door because there is now two checks because I got that letter that I need to get in there. And Mila takes two minutes. So you always kind of want to pair her up with something. I should have turned on the windmill. Do I still have time to do yeah. that? Yeah, I still have time. Um, so I stored that door, which will come in handy later. And that will be the fun thing. Man, also, another use of storage. Yeah. Guys, Southern Ferry is in logic, and I'm really debating on doing the pirate ship. <laughs> yeah, you could. I mean, it's not in logic technically, because you've got bombs in. Well, I just need to enter it. That's all yeah. I need. Um... We're gonna wait up here. <laughs> the safe right? You've heard of the Dark Knight. I'm the post box man. Yeah. Imagine looking up at night and just seeing this post box look back at you. <laughs> the true American <laughs> hero right there. <laughs> I'm gonna deliver some mail of justice. Uh, uh where are you, Mila? 
Don't well, mind if I hop Wait, in with a uh, quick announcement? Absolutely. All right. Well, I just want to draw everybody's attention to the lower right-hand corner of the screen where it says that we've crossed the $2,500 mark. We're at $2,563 raised for Nami so far. And we just crossed that threshold thanks to our very own Peaches, uh, who donated $116.80. Wow. Wow. Uh, he says, I told Moat I would donate $4.20 per secret he found. Just don't tell anyone about that senior photo, okay? Thanks again for including PMW, Moat, and I in this event. We had an absolute blast. H! And I gotta say, we had a ton of fun with you guys as well. Thank you so much for uh, for that showcase. And uh, yeah, back to you, Crane. Yeah. So, Mila took faster than I was expecting. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wait another two minutes for her. Um, I think while climbing up to the lighthouse, I missed her, I which is so, yeah. horribly awkward. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, come on. But well, we're getting two checks at the same time here. Saving time, right? Always. Uh, right. Um, unfortunately, she was kind of useless. The House of Wealth chest doesn't have anything either, Rip. Yep. Yeah. I'm only... I jumped down just because it's going to be quicker to get to Mila again. You also might have noticed, everyone, Maybe. that... I came out that door, but I went in the cafe door. And that's why I stored the door, is because when you store that upper door, but then enter in through this door, the game just kind of puts you up as if though you had done that door. So that's going to be faster by doing Mila, which ends here, and then I can go around and through this door, as opposed to all the way around back up to that door. So now we got waiting. I think after missing it that first time, I'm gonna switch it to today and kind of prayed for like a picto box check or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just come back, I'll later. Come back later. Well, mistakes were made. That's no break surprise. side. Uh, that's actually the one thing I can't do. Like, it's such an awkward thing to be someone who tazzes the game, but I can't break slide because I still don't fully understand it. Yeah, I was break sliding while I was waiting for Mila yesterday, or yeah, on stream. I got that it is... a tiny bit once, but it's hard. It's really hard. So we're gonna get some squats in. We got to keep our legs very strong so that we can deliver the mail all around Hyrule. <laughs> Just look at the detail in this post box, man. Wow. So beautiful. But shout outs to Big Shark, man. He, oh my gosh. <laughs> if you want to get involved with this community for modding anything uh, visually uh, or audibly, I guess, is... <laughs> Yeah. We're just going to master all their text. Very extensive community. Wow, vanilla. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> when we say vanilla, that's because the the check that we get is what you would typically get in a normal playthrough of the game. Are we hoping for some vanilla light arrows? No. No, I'm really not hoping for vanilla light arrows. <laughs> Just gamble would... high roll. Yeah. <laughs> if I have boomerang, I might debate that. For the content. For the content. We need to talk. And then I need to bonk. So a quality of confusion. Yeah, the quality of life update we have is that I can hold B and it will just instantly go through every text. So I don't need to mash through text. Um, those selection boxes, I do mash A for them, but I can just hold B for all the text and it is such a nice quality of life update. Yeah, and also there used to be a cutscene that played after you exited the schoolhouse there, but it was removed in the latest version or 1.7 or 1.8, which is really nice too. Well, uh, seems to remove. The Wind Waker randomizer is kind of like the game that's like, well, we really don't like that. Let's just get rid of it. 
We don't like these cutscenes. These are just like a slow cutscene, which um, ultimately what it did is it sped up the pace of gameplay. So there's barely a chance to even take your hands off the controller in a in a two hour time span of doing these seats anymore. Um, yeah. Unless unless you were me and racing with uh, your read speeds turned off <laughs> the other night. <laughs> I'm like, wow, why am I losing minutes to the first, like, little bit? Oh, just kidding. It's because every Basically loading the, zone is slow. Yeah, every loading zone is about two seconds slower uh, when you turn off the emulation read speed. So hopefully everybody in the community knows about it so we're all on equal playing field. Yeah. I mean, they've made the announcement, like, what, three times for it? Too many times. Ooh. Yeah. So we're saving Tingle here. He gives us two items for free. It's fun. <laughs> 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 wow. I, sm I smell some Forsaken Fortress coming yeah. right up. Yeah. Honestly, if I get Leaf as well soon, we're going to do Forsaken Fortress into Forbidden Woods. Whenever I get Skullhammer. I would always do Forsaken Fortress like as soon as possible, but since you got sword and hammer now, it's just like might as might as well. Yeah. We are gonna finish up the windfall checks though, just because if with tag, if you save at all during it, it resets the kids, and that's just a time loss. Plus, we're almost done with it, which is kind of <laughs> nice. <laughs> More mail for the post box. Love this game. Need all mail. I hate all mail, I'm done with it. <laughs> uh, we only have one more letter left, and then we can get what's called the cabana deed. And the question is if we'll need the deed, because there's like eight different ways that we can skip it. Uh, not all of them are fun. Like, there's a backflip leaf method, I want to say. Uh, do I do Lenzo? Yeah. No, I'm. You know what? I'm not gonna do Lenzo just because the Taz does it better, and so there's your little bombs. incentive. Those bombs. <laughs> so good. I do um, like the bombs for the Lucario model too. The Voltorbs. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we don't see many people use those Pokemon models. Those Pokemon models are really solid. Oh yeah, there's just like <laughs> nice. There's an insane amount of high quality models that span so many different things. It's it's actually a shame that I cannot, like I don't have the time to show them all. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chainmail. Yeah. This is actually the post box man seed. This is the most fitting post box. I've ever had. I don't even have enough rupees to send both. We're gonna have to get Man. this I should get town flower too. I typically get the uh, rupees that are um, behind the bomb house with, when I'm grabbing that kid because there's almost always guaranteed a, f a five or a 20 or something there. I shouldn't tell you my secrets, man. You're gonna use them against me. <laughs> No, what I should have done is at Bird's Peak Rock gotten fairies. Fairies. Pff, rubies. Yep, get those fairies. <laughs> we'll get a fairy for I Grandma always, later. I always think about doing that too, and then I'm like, well, I'm just going to go to Windfall and get like eight checks, and gosh, there should probably be at least a couple rupees there or something. Nice little optimization there, other than talking to the guy. <laughs> yeah, talking to the guy and falling uh, down, not an optimization. Absolute time loss, but... Swag. Yeah, we're okay. not gonna we're not gonna go for that a third time. Yeah, if you side hop jump slash, it's, you don't have the risk of uh, falling. Yeah, side really? hop jump slashes are OP in some applications. Uh, I didn't get the turnaround. Right. You know the joystick position to hold? It's up right, right? It's uh up left it's it's in between the notch about left and up 
Oh, that's really awkward. I was holding that. Was it because I, I was mashing A to try to get a roll in as well? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think you have a, a one frame there between that cutscene starting there. I don't know. So Why we're going to get that? a little flower here. This will come in handy later. Yeah. Much later, because I'm not going to complete this. Actually, do the whole trading quest. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be a fun. It there is actually a lot of fun you can do with that with super swims. Yeah. Bait. Wow. We got baited. Now he can use hints. So you can actually get hints in this game by feeding the bait to the fishman. Uh, it's not a very popular option though because the hints aren't the best. They helped me in my race against Gymnast. Huh. Only once. <laughs> hey, once is good. Yeah. Let's do that so, one this warp to Forsaken Fortress is another randomizer exclusive thing. Uh, very, very nice quality of life update. The other thing that we used to do, which I actually would have done if I didn't have sword yet, is warp to Mother Child and get chest storage there, then get storage again and get camera lock, and then do what's called a super swim, which is abusing water mechanics to our favor. Which I'll probably showcase that, not during this segment, but my last segment. Crane, when you say super swim, is that like when they're like pausing at the beginning of the game or something? That is called manual super swimming. It is a very similar concept, but uh, that is like the hard version. So we use what's called camera lock to get uh, to get us into a state that makes doing what they're doing with the pausing done by the game. So we're abusing a game mechanic to do it for us. Otherwise, we would have to pause, or you can be insane and do what's called unbuffered manual super swim, which is just going like that. And you have to do it at about 10 times a second, up and down, each up and down cycle. It's a, uh, why we, the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker is considered the hardest, for the SD version, it is considered the hardest 3D Zelda game for speed running at high the level. hardest. <laughs> yeah. It's different when, like, a game is just hard with, like, trick execution and stuff. But, like, when there is so much physically difficult tricks with Wind Waker SD between the manual super swim, which is very repetitious and uh, <laughs> pain-inducing. Bombs. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, this is... So, what I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to get storage by having a bomb push me off the chest. Unfortunately, uh, these bombs are quite large. Oh, we got it. And so it's very hard to see what's happening. But are you, I'm a... Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, go ahead, switch up. Are you gonna switch up your uh, bomb drop storage to single Wind Waker pull? No. Is that it? Oh, that was in Trox's video, wasn't it? I'm not 100% sure, but... Um, I've been doing it for like last several months where you just drop a bomb and if you pull your Wind Waker out about as fast as you can, you get the immediate consistent push off. I might start doing that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was that was so barely. Yeah. This walls. bird color, what is up with these colors? This doesn't look like what I remember from the original game. That's What's because all the colors for all the enemies have been randomized. It's just another little, like, cool feature that we have within the Legends of the Wind Waker in the randomizer. Is Why are we you can... in the free cam? <laughs> Honestly, this is just because it's an old childhood habit. Like, this is how I did it as a kid, and even though I know it's easier to do it in not free cam, I can't stop. <laughs> My brain physically won't let me roll correctly if I'm not in free cam. The reason uh, it's nice to be in camera lock here, or just have the camera locked, not being in camera lock, because that'd be unuseful, 
uh, is because the camera stays in the center of the screen and you just basically hold up left and time your rolls. But I've seen a couple of people do it in free cam. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's what I did. Free cam. Oh, is that a storage oh. first try? That was nice. a storage first try. So we really hate RNG. We're really used to it in The Legend of the Wind Waker, but we hate it. So I got storage, which allows me to store this cutscene and move during it. And I positioned myself very specifically in the basement because the bird is going to freak out. Its AI doesn't know how to handle this situation and we're going to abuse that to our advantage, which will make sense in like a second or multiple seconds. So I'm just gonna stand right here and we're gonna wait and hope that we don't soft lock. We didn't oh soft lock. Oh my gosh, yes. It also came down right fast. You. you could have been swinging like right away when he landed there, it looked like. Yeah. I'm lost, you wasted two seconds, man. Reset. <laughs> I'm sorry, I put down my controller for half a second to try to, oh, oh. here. Um, uh, All right. Pray to the gods. Pray to the RNG gods. Oh, oh no. What? Soft lock. Um, is that a soft lock? I think that is a soft lock. We'll have to see. This is interesting. That's now lock. definitely yeah. probably going to be a soft lock. Yeah. Uh, this has never happened before, at least to me. Yeah, that's a soft lock. <laughs> is the bird like stuck in the collision there? I don't know where the bird went. <laughs> I think he just fell. He's just in the void now. He's falling. <laughs> the bird's I've just never gone. Seen that before. That's uh. What is this so, free cam? <laughs> <laughs> so that is not how that works. Um, I wasn't supposed to fall off. Uh, it causes the bird to freak out. Usually, what happens with the soft lock is the bird can get stuck outside the tower and can't get in. Uh, in that case. I don't know how and I don't know why, but the bird is just vanished. It walked and it was eaten up by the void. Yeah. I have a couple thousand hours into playing this game and I've never seen that. <laughs> and by I don't a couple know where thousand, the bird... I'm not going to tell you the exact number. Um, yeah. It's usually better if we don't if we don't tell people just how big of a game this is for us. Um Realized that I stored PG chest and I didn't check what it had. I had nothing. Oh. I'm going too early. This is a very fun trick because you have a two frame window followed by a one frame window and the game runs at 30 FPS. So. Very. Yeah, it was a three frame window to get the dive. It's a two frame for the dive. Ah. I just. Uh... It feels like roll clip timing, so that's why it never really bothered me. Yeah. The the roll clip timing and the dive timing actually overlap, which is nice. nice. Makes our life easier. What's really nice about storage, though, is, like, let's say you're like, uh, I have a copy of Wind Waker. How do I do storage? Well, it's great because if you, um, if you get the dive and you cancel early, you'll do, like, a mid-air jump. And if you um, cancel late, nothing will happen. So there's very, very distinct visuals on if you're early or, or late so that you can adjust your timing accordingly. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna play it safe. That bird is getting hammered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And nope. this cutscene is also messed up what? because it's Right. The camera is directed at the bird, and the bird is not where the bird is. I've never seen this camera angle before either. There we go. Um, Great, the I've bird never is. Seen anything like this before? <laughs> um, I have a knack in the Wind Waker community of breaking the game in unexpected ways um, that haven't been seen before on accident. It's kind of interesting, but. Yeah, I've never seen that camera angle where it's, like, up at the top before. It's usually, like, really far out. I love this game too much. At least this is immortalized on stream. True. <laughs> oh, come on. The opening doors is actually a lot harder 
than we really want to admit. You could you could put thousands of hours into this game and you're still gonna get caught up by ladders and and doors. It's so ridiculous. That was actually one of my favorite things. So Mr. Alberto 23 is the world record holder in any percent for the HD version. And I've literally seen him get stuck on a ladder. And yeah. it's like, he just couldn't climb it. The game refused to let him climb. Okay, I got this first try the last time I tried it. So that means I'm going to get a first try this time. Nope, we're not going to try that again. You can save a couple seconds by... That skips two loading zones because you enter into the fortress and you also leave the fortress. Uh, but if you want to get it fast, you kind of have to just do it. So I'll do a safer variation on it now. No surprise you missed that with uh, sword. Yeah. Or I did you I... use your hammer? No, I used sword. Okay. I think I did it a little late but we get to we get to have a lot of fun with this upcoming little section of the dungeon because we need to get this chest which has a joy pendant i'm so happy that it's a joy pendant now come on the first wanna... and only time to be happy for joy pendants and we're going to abuse another game mechanic because it wouldn't be a proper randomizer speed run. Right. <laughs> Just take a moment to enjoy this. Okay, we're good. We're going to get caught by this floor master and he's going to take us to our next check. We went to jail. It's like Monopoly. Um, for the record, I didn't know that the switch to get out of the jail existed until playing this version same actually yeah. i don't know if there'd ever be a use for it really even in casual play that you'd ever just happen to look up specifically there i mean who gets caught in ff2 like come on scrubs <laughs> so that is a tingle statue but it's absolutely worthless okay i wanted to wait and now Ooh, yeah, that's a tiny optimization that you can, if you go late on the switch, the bombs will blow up and it will make getting on it a lot faster. So you go slow to go fast. There's a couple and, things in speedrunning like that. Let's see. Um, if there are any donations, now would be a pretty good time. But if there are none, then I will just continue. No, I don't have any donations, but I would like to say a quick note about what we're raising money for. And that is, you know, for NAMI, right? NAMI is the National uh, Mental Health Institute. Uh, and, uh, you know, they are around to help people out with mental health issues. Uh, they are driven by their core values of hope, inclusion, empowerment, compassion, and fairness. They believe in the possibility of recovery, wellness, and the potential in all of us. And they embrace diverse backgrounds, cultures, and perspectives. Uh, so, you know, every dollar that comes in is going straight across over to NAMI. And uh, we are proud to help out that cause. I am very grateful that I get this opportunity to play my favorite game and help support such a great cause. Um, so I forgot that I didn't have Leaf, and so I tried to go to a dungeon, realized that I couldn't enter the dungeon, and then left. So, if anyone is wondering why I warped twice, it's because, uh, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> it can happen. It so, can. Fun fact, um, Crane doesn't know where any of these items are, which is why he's getting a bunch of items that are unnecessary. Uh, if you watch the Season 3 tournament, you'll see that all the runners go directly to every chest. And that's because we are given a spoiler log and all the items. But we as runners route it and try to make the most efficient linear path through the seed. And it's more execution based than luck based now. Which still surprisingly has elements of luck in it though. 
Yeah. Of course, Leaf is the first check that we would have gotten if I didn't rush Forsaken Fortress. Oh, this game. Oh, man. Class. Yeah, I typically do paw print uh, right after Windfall to save that warp. That's what, like, I should have done that, but I was like, eh, I'll rush Forsaken Fortress. Bad move. Um. Yeah, time shifter. You are right, my voice does require a beard, but my body refuses wow. to let me grow it. Uh, I'll just substitute for Ukraine, how about that? You can, oh, you can have mine. <laughs> so, I can't actually do it here. I could have, but I don't know the setup. But for the longest <sighs> time, we wanted to get that chest, which hard required grapple, and we couldn't find the setup, but there was a member of the community that joined and like within a month figured out the parkour required so we could get that check using some insane big brain level parkour which is like the coolest part about the randomizer for me because like by nature i'm more of a glitch hunter and a tazzer so stuff like that is just amazing that we can still find it even though this game is like almost two decades old yeah like new There's stuff very often. so many things found just for randomizer like vanilla game was like yeah we f we do this but this is like completely useless in sense of any speed run ever and then randomizer like yeah just kidding like to a small degree one could say that a randomizer is harder than a speed run just because like it takes so much random knowledge to do as opposed to a regular rando, well, a regular speed run where you're just doing the same route again and again. So, like, each are very difficult in their own ways. <laughs> ah, nice. Such nice checks. Getting all the mail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? It's <laughs> <laughs> getting two wallets in a row. I should save grandma. I should save grandma. This would be a great time to get a fairy. Not necessarily harder. It's more that they require a ton of game knowledge, which is from someone who does more tazzing and glitch hunting. That's like my favorite part about the. That's why I, I just love the rando. I love it almost, well, I love it more than I like SD, and HD is barely below the rando. HD has some cool stuff. Wow. They don't call you Crane WWR for nothing. No. I also think that, like, having um, knowledge of this game casually, because I played this game, like, nonstop as a kid and, like, figured everything out. So I think that having that knowledge really plays over to like at least knowing where all the checks are and then like having the speedrun knowledge of being able to apply glitches in just seemingly useless areas and then find a use for them or something okay so guys what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to go get outset fairy save grandma and then full pure earth temple <laughs> i feel like you're gonna say that I have Leaf and Mirror Shield, dude, and Hammer, like, yeah. ugh. Nah, dude, get the Warp Pot and then peace out halfway through. What? I don't have any dungeons that I would be able to go back to from. <laughs> Dean, <Yeah. D>, no. <laughs> it would somehow be probably slower to warp directly to Forsaken Fortress and warp back. Oh, hey, speaking of warping through dungeons, that's a non-vanilla thing. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, very early versions of development, our buddy Bob Play Anything suggested to add warp pots between the dungeons. And the first three dungeons are linked, and then the last three dungeons are linked in terms of, like, story progression order. Um, so, like, yesterday in my seed, I couldn't, I had to go either do something really late and it just kind of set back the pace of stuff, or I could have done it earlier and then gone back and double dipped it, 
And so I used the warp pot from a later dungeon to get back into it, which saved uh, a significant amount of time, I'm sure, versus backtracking all the way there. Yeah, warp pots make double dips a lot less painful. So yeah, using those to your advantage. With what I did there is I got storage, which stored, there's a cutscene after the rock, and I meant to roll, but I side hopped instead. But that's just one of those like little optimizations that exist all throughout the rando, just another one of them. Hey! Nice. Hog? <laughs> that's where Pearl was in our co-op yesterday too. That exact Pearl. That's right, oh that's weird. We're getting... Let's see, what mail checks are we missing? Orca... Okay, Orca and Letter from Bido. Yeah. Um, another random thought I have on with this uh, speedrun versus, like, randomizer execution stuff and that. One thing that I... I love randomizer for this game, but one thing I dislike about it is that once you play it through the first time, that's that. Like, you can't say, oh, I'm going to compete against this time and see if I can make it better. Because, of course, it's going to be better after you... Unless it's, like, a plandomizer or, like, a a spoiler log, as, as it's more called, I guess. Then it's just, like, I don't know. You ruined it the first time you did it. Yeah, that's true. That's why comparing against PBs isn't really a thing. Yeah, it's a, I it's see people cool who use splits for have. this game. Yeah. It's like really splits sense. for randomizer, and they have like Triforce Shard 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's like, I, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if that works for you. But if you like seeing red splits all the time. <laughs> yeah. You know, Wind Waker is my favorite Zelda game, too. Please tell me it was past uh, midnight. Press one in chat if Wind Waker's your favorite Zelda game. <laughs> hey. Okay. Useless. Well, hey guys, it looks like the community has uh, heeded the call and sent in a few donations. You got a minute? Absolutely. All right. Well, we've got eight dollars from uh, your best friendo. No comment, but thank you very much. And then we've got a dollar from We Go Giant. It says, hey, this mailbox sure is good at rolling somersaults. <laughs> Thank you both for your donations. Remember, every dollar goes towards not making it. Nice. This mail not is useful. No, it's a little sad. Let's see, I need this. Um, so... The reason I'm not getting the second mail, like there's another uh, letter in there, but I'm not getting it because one, it's not in logic. Like it's not randomized at all. It's randomized, but it can't be anything good. Yes, that would be a better way to phrase it. It can't be anything needed to beat the seed because Wind Waker does group settings for the randomization. So I can say like, I want all the treasure charts to be randomized or stuff like that. Um. um. I'm also broke, so I can't afford it. Low, low key, uh, Crane's just discriminating against Tingle. <laughs> like we already saved him from jail. We're not gonna spend money on his letter. Nah. You know the it's great kind of... thing, Dean, is yesterday the co-op seed me and Tando did. He gave us Trevor, and Trevor is a nickname we have for. Uh, there's one rupee in the entire game that's worth 500 rupees, so we've nicknamed it Trevor. <laughs> and then he so he gave us that and then 200 rupees afterwards so it's like he bribed us dang yeah so crane's entering earth temple now uh without command melody or earth god's lyric so you can you can skip both these items uh, but it's technically not logically available to him yet but he's a gamer so he's gonna skip them. Pro MLG gamer. Yeah. Okay. Right. Not not gonna skip that. Um, Just don't yeah, look. this is gonna be one of the not as fun dungeons because I am missing those items. Dungeon. 
this yeah this is not a fun gen. Uh, it's actually a painful dungeon, but I was right here and I'd rather... I'm a fan of getting stuff out of the way when I'm there. So it's actually faster to skip those items. With the exception... Okay, I guess many mirrors won't make it faster. That's going to be a downside. Um, but we'll, we'll make it through. I do have a question for the Wind Waker runners in chat, or, yeah. Uh, do you think that doing spoiler log has changed your way of doing, like, regular random seeds? At all? Are you talking to us, or? Yeah, I, like I you. Yeah, you and Crane, I mm. suppose. Uh -oh. like, have... uh, well, definitely, spoiler log stuff requires you to learn, like, some pretty obscure stuff. Uh... But also, like, really, like, focusing on optimizing movement and stuff, because that stuff is a lot more important. So I, I wouldn't say it changed how I played normal random, but it made me better. I suppose. I was, um, um yeah, really Do you want to explain what spoiler log is? I think I, I already did, but I can just, like, run. I can give a yeah. brief overview. It's, I can't um, remember if you have, that's why. We take the settings and we generate the spot for all the for all the items and then we take any knowledge of obscure tricks and glitches and try to use that to route the seed together a lot better. Because there's typically items you can't get through. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's kinda nasty. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, that just happened. <laughs> Uh, that's going to make my life just a little easier for the first Sawnstone. I was trying to do this the easier way, but I'll do it the not-so-easier way. Um, so that's a really dumb item location to get that in. And if you thought that wasn't going to hit, it shouldn't have, but it did. Yeah, that hammer like auto-locks sometimes, too stuff i wonder why you didn't do that strat first um i was scared <laughs> i think it's just two side hops to the left and then you just hold up on the map or to the right uh two side hops to the the opposite of left okay Ooh. hey we're hitting it although that nice. could have been your light arrows yeah that is true, which is kind of sucky. Yeah. So if we get in this game are progressive. So you can't get like light arrows before getting his first two bow upgrades. I just want a small key. That would be what I want. Oh, you don't have command melody. Can't get past the hub room. Uh, I, I would have been the chest the store. No, I can. It just means I will have to do a save warp shenanigan. Uh, I need to be full on magic. So that is a quick little... That's a really... <laughs> that's a great <laughs> animation. Uh, that glitch is called Soup Doop, which allows us to pretty much pretend as if though we got the soup. And the game... Like, it registers as drinking it, but it doesn't register the soup itself. Um, Patched in HD, sadly. Yeah. Although it's in Twilight Princess. Really? I yeah, didn't really need to get HD. this storage. HD and SD. Do it from a different corner in the room. That would be... that would be smart. Like the corner near the door that you entered in. Typically the corner that, that I would do. Smarter. Yeah, because then the twos don't spawn. But muscle memory brings you back to that corner. Yeah. What is going on? Zerp. So, Axe. everything is a suggestion. We're going to head to the basement. Yeah. So he did door storage there, which is weird. It's the weirdest storage, I know. Okay, is your guys. game lagging? 
or is it just Discord stream? I think it's just Discord stream. This is where okay. I actually do need your input. Do I store Tingle Chest and try to go forward to get a key? Yes. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Because then you could potentially get further and get the warp pot at the end. It's, it's such an awkward thing to get Earth God's Lyric and then be like, oh sweet, I don't need to skip it, and then I still have to skip it. <laughs> yeah. I should, like, make a tutorial video on how I skip that, because the way I skip it is just a different set of controls than other people use, but it uses notches, so it's super, super consistent. So, we're gonna safety save here, because, uh, if you mess up in the wrong way, you can soft lock your game, or you, like, I'll waste more time than if I didn't safety save. <laughs> Hopefully I can get this storage, though. This is one of those instances where, like, one pull Wind Waker storage there would be really, really helpful because it's like a muscle memory timing. There's no, like, visual. And I would not know. I've played a couple models where it's like their items are so big you can't see. Like, somebody's paraglider is, like, so big you can't even see. Yeah. And I was just guessing on all my ledge cancels in Forbidden Woods. <laughs> um, if one of you wants to explain how this first Sawnstone skip works, that'd be great. While I struggle to get a roll clip. Um, well, since you got chest storage, um, the storage act basically keeps your uh, animation size or your hitbox the same size as when you are climbing into the chest and Nintendo decided to make Link really small to fit him into the chest I guess so the hitbox stays incredibly small so you can basically be like halfway into a wall only allowing you to have to do a frame perfect roll clip uh, immediate time that Link stands up from the crawl and then you do some incredibly precise movement that's super monk ass because if you do uh, that roll clip like late, you end up like kind of going off to the down and you can just easily soft lock. Because if you fall down there, there's no way to climb back up with chest storage, sadly. Because you can't climb ladders or ledges. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> hey. Hey. And so that's like the reason I safety saved is because I could get caught by the floor masters. But then I lose chest storage. But I don't want to save warp because then whatever item was in that chest, I don't have. Because you don't get that item until the chest unloads. And if you save warp, it gives it to... It's kind of weird. There are two links. There's the link I'm playing with, but the title screen also has a link. And so, if you save warp with chest storage before the chest unloads, and this link gets the item, it gets given to title screen link. Yeah, yeah that's a fun way to soft lock your game. <laughs> yeah, it'd be run dead at that point. If it was a key item. It's interesting how it gives you, um... It gives you the item to the uh, title screen menu link. Um, but if you are storing a small key in this dungeon and you just exit the dungeon normally and then go to another dungeon, it counts for that dungeon's <laughs> keys instead. So there's potential uses for that to speed things along. Which sucks because there's been times I've entered Wind Temple and just didn't bother to look at my key count and wasted a bunch of time instead of just saying, oh, I have a small key from somewhere. Wait, why did I hit that? I'm questioning that too. Because we can just go out of bounds and pull Leaf right here. Whoop. Or yep. Leaf, what is that? A burrito postman? <laughs> yeah. A tired person. An entire Rito. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was <laughs> weird. Oh, that was... Crane, you and me are gonna have to do some movement boot, boot camp, dude. Let's, let's go. You're scaring me way too much, man. It's too early for this. 
Hey, I think that was slightly more optimal. Speaking of early, I have a cup of good liquid in my microwave that I kind of forgot about. So the reason I voided out there is I want to store this chest as well, but storing a chest while you have a chest stored is... It's kind of terrible. It's like... It's hard. It's stupid hard. It's really, like, inconsistent. So it's easier for me to just void out there and get all the items that I've stored before in the dungeon than to try to get chest storage twice in a row. Oh, come on. Yeah, basically, Craig's gonna cheat his way through this dungeon. I just want some magic, guys. Wait, no, hearts, that's what I wanted. My brain is like split between too many things right now. Be be very, very careful to not void out here. And get those okay. keys dead. Because they can bop you out of bounds. You ever, you ever had that happen to you? Too many yeah. times. <laughs> that that happened to me in a ZSR marathon race back in early 2019. <laughs> My first ever bad. like big community event, and I'm sitting here failing harder than I've ever failed at this game before. <laughs> hey guys, I, I've got a pretty special donation space. here. Whenever you've got a moment. Really? Uh, we got a. Uh, let me do this one trick first, and then we'll be good. Absolutely. Open the warp pot. I'm gonna open the warp pot with power bracelets, yeah. This nice. is what I'd normally do, because I have bombs, and bombs are faster. But this is too cool to not show off. So I can jump slash up here, face towards this rock, and then just yeet it off. <laughs> and we're good for that donation now. All right, here we go. It's it's a simple donation. Uh, it comes from a man named The Postman. Donates $5 and says, <clears throat> Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail! <laughs> nice. Wow, that was fantastic. Thanks, Postman. Oh, my Thank gosh. You, postman. <laughs> That's a command in my chat. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you for that. Um, so I had to void out because I had chest storage and I wanted to keep that item. That was close. Um, so that's why I kind of did things a little weird there. We're gonna need that warp pod later. What did you store? Uh, I still don't know, actually. Nothing, by the looks of it. I was kind of hoping it was the boss key. Yeah. yeah, that would be nice. Actually, no, I don't want it to be the boss key because I have to do the really manka s command melody skip in the basement so I can get at least one of the checks. Like the transparent chest things. So I am much happier that it is not that. Because I'm, I'm pretty much gambling right now that there is one check down there that is either the boss key or the map. Otherwise, we're going to be in this really awkward situation where I have checks that in a dun I have checks in a dungeon that's hard to go back to, and I'm missing an item that I don't need for the seed. This trick is also really dumb. Are you pressing just X out of medley or are you pressing AX? I'm pressing AX. Just press X. Oh. Because of spoiler to it, I haven't done this trick in such a long time now. It's more serious small to see it. Just do the bomb boost version. <laughs> I'm not that's Which is even harder almost, team. It's almost yeah, just as hard. That's safe harder states, for me though. because I don't know. I'm on console. <laughs> Just make a safe state on console. Hey, we got it this time, though. We're good. We're good. First try. Let's see, do I need to bring medley for this? No, I don't. Why did you not uh, kill Johan? Um. 
Everybody makes mistakes. Okay, let's check in. All right, I was also just checking. <laughs> if uh, you have chest storage there, you can go straight into the boss door because every single boss key in this game is skippable. Um, yep. So you would beat the boss and then get the shard and then save warp so that you're back into the beginning of the dungeon and then like clear it out from there. And then like maybe the last two checks you have are the boss key and something else, but you can just process of elimination know that it's like a map or a compass and something else maybe. Yeah. We don't get opportunities like that often, but when we do, we take them. Yeah, I'm in this really awkward situation where because we've been doing so much spoiler log stuff in the community, my regular routing skills have become garbage, <laughs> which is why I need two people on my couch to really help me. <laughs> yeah, I, um, when I was commentating for a live event and Woofer was helping co-commentate, he would just like subtly mention things or he's like, oh, you don't need to do this because you already have like map and compass. So I'm like, oh. I would not have thought about that because you're so ingrained in commentary yourself and, and also trying to route and play and Ooh, wow. Nice. wow. That could be something. Lenzo light arrows confirmed. A what first try on that one. So I'm skipping that fight because it's dumb. Cheater. Hey streamer, have you tried going left? Uh left is a useless direction for the next little bit. Oh. oh. Oh, boss key, though. Or big so key, I fell, sorry. I fell, which kind of sucks, but I don't have the boomerang, so I can't get that item, like, the fun way either. But... That's, true. that's good, because I really didn't want to do the storage list big key skip. Storage list big key skip um, is a trick for the graveyard. <laughs> um... Yeah. Well, did, did you see that we figured out how to do the HD version? The one that's slightly less terrible? Isn't it the exact same way as HD inputs, basically? Pretty much. Okay, then I would... That muscle memory is still somewhere in the... I'll just have to dust it off. Yeah. <laughs> because I practice HD with no save states or no cheats, and I just had a maxed out file with a bunch of soup and magic potions and practice the dungeon basically day like months straight maybe go right i could debate on going right i'm a bigger fan of using my camera so i'll make the camera go to the right and that was terrible Oof. um i think i'll give this like i don't want to mm, i'm not sure how many times i want to try this before just well i'm not going to get it that time before swapping Two frame perfect bombs. leaf pumps and to a really precise angle this trick is oof yeah. Uh, we're gonna go with the hammer. Alphos is getting hammered tonight. So, luckily, there's some really quick... That's, <laughs> that fight seemed to have a lot of going left. Left is a relative direction. I was going straight if we rotated enough. Um... So I was pretty much trying to skip this entire fight by doing this, but unfortunately, um, it's a hard trick. Yeah. There's the head. So we're just going to do the quick version of the fight since we have bombs. Oh, come on. Nice. Easy. Good luck, sir. Pogi, thank you. Dean, thank you for agreeing with Pokey. Okay, it's a right. map, but it's not the dungeon map. That's all I care about. Okay, this part's gonna be stupid. <laughs> do you know Rick's setup for the command melody skip? I don't know Rick's setup. I have to do the I have to do the one I know. Oh no. I know. This is... So, in the basement room, we're supposed to have the command melody, but obviously we don't. 
You're fun. What's my Twitch handle? My Twitch handle is Crane WWR. Here, I'll send an A in chat. I'll send a G. And you can follow my profile to get there. Assuming you're talking about me and not Tanjo, because Tanjo's pretty fun too. Definitely not me. <laughs> Tanjo is he's the brains of this operation, I bet. <laughs> oh, close. Trash checks that let you know you can skip other trash checks. Real. Um, well, we so have um, is insane. So Dean, feel free. You and Tanjo, feel free to explain whatever as I fail this miserably several times. Okay. Oh, Crane's going. Oh, hey, you can just pull anything. your leaf out of medley flying. Remember, you don't have to press A X. Well, I was trying to side hop onto that. Is Rick's setup just leaf? The same thing, so just launch myself towards that and then pull X right yep. before medley drops. Yeah. Yeah. Learning. Alright, on the fly, routing, that's what we do. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times this has been happening. Yeah. Okay. Hey. First Let's try. try. Free. Look at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> actually free that was that's not something you want to try a lot first try though true um yeah skipping command is this room for the other checks is really annoying so. yeah i'm gonna pretty much i'm I'm gonna gamble that the left chest is the map. You that can get the, the Stalfos check but... too. Yeah, I was gonna get mini boss, ledge clip, Stalfos. And then if Stalfos one's not map, well, if these two aren't map, then we're good. Otherwise, we're kind of screwed. Og. Nice. So that, yeah, that's a, that's a kind of a difficult trick right there. Yeah, so. Every time you see me climb up a ledge and then kind of like eat myself out of bounds, that's called a, a roll clip. And those are all frame perfect. They work because you're like more than halfway out of bounds on the ledge. You know about the window roll clip, uh, like near that peg and the middle of mirror t or the middle of the earth temple? Uh, yes, the small key skip. Yeah, the gate thing. Yeah, the <laughs> original HD strat. Yeah, I actually do that. Difficult trick. I, I Taz did that has not. never heard of it. Well, this is RTA, not Taz, so it is actually difficult. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Careful for uh, the soft lock. I don't even want safety. Oh, we good. Nice. Um, DRC why did it, why did is it not logic, so we're good. Why did it unload those things? Uh, we were viewing it from behind, and we were in them. It's, it's weird, Dean. We don't, we don't think about it too much. Wait, did it open up the Stalfos crypt? It, I think it does. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. We're in business, bro. <laughs> I didn't know about this. Yeah, I don't really know how it works, so I would never go. For it's it. weird. Yeah, but you got really a grapple. Weird. You got gravel oh, yeah, and did. picto box. <laughs> Probably That's, should update my tracker. This could be the play, dude. Yeah, got bow here. Too. Like, if that wasn't like um a my neko picto box. So the main I thing we're gambling right now is that this is not map. If this is map, then I have to do some more complicated stuff that I will need some help from my commentary to remember how to do. Because there's a Not faster me. way to do it. I would just push like half the bears. I hate this room so much. You, stop moving. Thank you. Die. Gosh dang it! <laughs> yeah. So big, how do they miss? I am going... To it. lose my mind. Every yeah, light arrows for this is really nice. Just one shot for the stealth ones. Okay, we're good. We're good. 
brain is not losing sanity today. All right, let's let's hope. No map. Did you bless RNG? Oh wait, just kidding. <laughs> Come on, let me roll. There we go. Uh, a good friend of ours in the community named Gamian made a nice bless RNG emote. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna have right, to. Right now halfway. we cry. Um, Medley isn't gonna be stable enough to let me do the easier way, so. Yeah. Jay! Shoutouts to fast pushing movements in this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like that wall two like suggestive stuff. walls. <laughs> yes. You've been so composed, I kind of want to see you lose it. I don't lose it, I just kind of start to say, gosh dang it, and fetch a lot more. He's so yeah. vulgar. Yeah. I tell Crane to keep it dead, keep it you know, calm, but he should, he's always losing it. Yeah, should drink I'm some just, holy water after speaking language of the that. <laughs> just a mad lad. Come on, grab. Now push. Thank you, game. Yeah. Because Crane doesn't have command melody, he can't do the fast strats for this room to get that chest. So. So instead, I kind of just get to uh suffer. Um, but I can do some minor fast strats, like, I'm not, usually you would have to use medley in some of these cases, but I'm able to abuse how the mirror shield functions, and we can skip most of that, which is nice. Yeah. You know about the, um, super fast method of lighting up both eyes? The really the precise medley positioning, and then the, yes, the actually. bow shot shield thing? Um, I helped make a setup for the bow shot a while back when Tanjo was doing stuff with it. Yeah, that's my secret in Sporolog. If Leaf is ever big key chest, I'll have a secret weapon. Is that gonna work? Should. Nice. Wow, that mirror. Wait, what? Thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> it must be functioning as intended. What? This is this is not functioning as intended. Yeah, I think that's a. That's bug. a bug. He does know the strat. Skip. I made the strat. Yes, I actually have made quite a few strats. That was nice. 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 Um, our, our efforts were well spent. <laughs> most of the strats I've found are worthless. Or okay. stupid, dumb, precise. There's one more Earth Temple check, and that's a letter check. Uh, the dumbest of checks. So we get this mail check by having mailed note to mom and beating the boss for the dungeon. But the reason it's such a dumb check is you can't check it without beating the dungeon and leaving it. So, they are swag percent strats. They are the most swaggy of strats, and no one can deny that. Um, so, you have to beat the dungeon and get it. So, if there's anything good, like the last item you need on the check, you're just kind of screwed. Because you'll full clear an entire empty dungeon. Damn. Luckily, you did get some stuff in the dungeon, so it wasn't awful. Unless all of those are bait. Well, how many items was that? Like three or four? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, bow for sure. It's gonna be useful. Bow, picto box, <laughs> grapple hook for cabana, and then EGL. That is, um, that's four that progressive one. items out of how many checks that ha could have a potential. That's actually a. That's a that's a haul, I'd say. That's a haul, yeah. Actually, so time shifter for Wind Waker rando standards, this is a very slow dungeon. Just because, like, we have so many other dungeons that are so insanely fast. Like, Dragon Roost is actually really fast. Forbidden Woods is insanely fast. Woods is so Fortress, fast. It's technically fast, but it's also so small, I rarely even, like... I don't call it a dungeon, it's a glorified overworld check. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, interesting. Close We're gonna wait to lock behind Earth Temple. Kind of fun. Was it? Yeah, a grapple, grapple hook. Was here. Oh yeah. So yeah, we forget that logic. sometimes as glitchers. <laughs> that there's a, a way that normal people progress this game, and I really don't know what that is. But the tracker can help with that. Give us that light shield glitch again. That was weird. I don't know Do what that was. I'm, I'm going to check it out with other models after this. I'll figure this At out. Tasser. Yeah, it's probably a model specific visual bug. I don't know what would cause it about the model, though. Because it was a horizontal bar. It was making a T. Yeah. What's, what's the plan now? I think the plan's going to be Forbidden Woods, honestly. Logically, Earth Temple led into it. Yeah. And if we're going to follow your Dungeon Rust philosophy, it is the only way we can go. True. You can pick up mail at Forest Haven while you're there. There's not honestly a lot of overworld that's been opened up anyway, but there's also not a lot of overworld left, so 50 50 on that statement. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Imagine forgetting to grab that Triforce shard. Wait, did I? No, I didn't forget it. I didn't forget it. It said two. It said two. You scared me so hard there, Dean. Oh. <laughs> I was like, no. No, you're kidding me. <laughs> Uh, no, that is that has happened. Through some select individuals. Definitely not me. Definitely <laughs> not. I gotta keep the runner on his toes, man. Oh, he really more entertaining. We'll check Tingle Mail. I'm doing really good for time, so. Be more subtle with how you mess with the runner. No, that was a really good way to mess. Oh. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. That sucks. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I dislike the telescope because it messes with your placement of the cursor every time you save warp. It's so subtle, but like it actually affects the muscle memory. So yeah. what I'm referring to here is that every time when you don't have the telescope, the cursor is, de the cursor is default to set on the, the save button every single time uh, after a save warp. But when you get the telescope, then it is default to set there instead. And I'm just yeah. more happy that we got telescope by being like, eh, let's just check this. Yeah, I suppose. I was kind of hoping for like double magic. Definitely. Yeah, or heroes. Wow, unlucky. Yeah, the heroes is pretty cool. This bottle is pretty cool. Whatever the spoiler log seed I ran the other day was, the um, chest that I stored on top of Cabana to do Cabana deed skip had heroes charm in it. <laughs> I had no idea. So unfortunately, I got hit down by a P hat. So we're just gonna set things back up. He hats suck. No one likes More them. like a jerk hat. Yeah. Bad enemy. At Nintendo. Actually, probably the worst enemy in this game are P hats and C hats and keys and rats, basically. Basically, the ats. Yeah, At the Even ass. though keys isn't a. <laughs> Anything bats. smaller than Link is a terrible enemy. Bats, rats, and pea hats. With the exception of sea hats, yeah. who are larger than Link, but still a terrible enemy. They're terrifying, too. <laughs> like, sea hats, yeah. honestly, were like one of those that uh, was like, uh, no, I don't wanna. So, we get to have. I was about to say, if that's Command Melody, that's not logically possible. Yeah. Um, there's gonna be a lot more shenanigans in this dungeon, by the way. Yeah. A lot more chest storage stuff. Aww. That is literally... You don't get that shot. That's a meme shot. 
kind of want to Taz that shot now. That would be a fun shot to Taz. The problem with those bulbs is you have to hit them in a dumb, precise way. That sucks. Mm, come on. There we go. So, with chest storage, walls are floors. Uh, so, we kind of are just going to climb up this entire thing and do some hardcore parkour to get to this check that's up here. I'm too low. Yeah. What? what? <laughs> okay, almost worked. So, yeah, cool thing about, like, um, chest storage, that if you are ESS's, ESSing into a ledge, it just kind of brings you to the top. I guess probably similar to the water physic. Hit the dumb shot on every dumb em enemy. Too many dumb enemies. Um... And for a quick explanation of what ESS is, it's just a precise uh, sort of boundary on the input. We get it from uh, Ocarina of Time for their extended super slide glitch, and it's just kind of a term that's used across a lot of communities for just a very specific input zone. Or, or specifically, more better worded, um, the first registerable position outside the control sticks dead zone or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that would be how to categorize it. Runner can't run and commentate. No. That's why, that's why commentators are here. <laughs> Just put on the good show. <laughs> Or Come whatever on. this is. <laughs> this is a bad show by me, so that way when I do the low percent Taz and like show actually good gameplay, people can be like, oh wow, this game actually is cool. It's great. It's okay, great. I think you're cool. Oh, Tanjo, thanks. I think I'm cold. My hands are getting cold. Uh... Don't think uh, about it. <laughs> oh, I wanted to get that swag shot. No, I just mean like it's actually cold in my apartment right now, so my hands are actually getting cold. This is my excuse for playing bad. Uh, there... Yeah, there we go. Gosh, I love the the little subtle effects changes on the the cursors and the item changes and all that for the different models. So much work from so many people in the community come together and make that happen. It's so cool. Yeah. So unfortunately, I just failed soup dupe, which means we're left with half a thing of soup. Oh, rip. So. Soup dupe is a glitch that you get two tries at, and if you fail both times, you're screwed. Well, you get the go say hi to grandma again, which is fine. You're, you're screwed because that's a time loss. <laughs> hey guys, I got another donation here. It's an extra special one. Oh. All right. All right, we've got one dollar, but it's coming in from Ganon. Oh no. Oh. What's taking so long, Crane? This is supposed to be a speed run, isn't it? Well, I'm waiting for you. Alright. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, Crane, you heard the man. Yeah, I'm gonna have waiting. to speed things up. <laughs> yeah, He's kind of way. impatient to get his yeah. head stabbed with a sword. I mean, apparently. Um, Spoiler alert, we killed the man. Yeah, I didn't say anything, no. <laughs> yeah. Do appreciate um, his contribution towards, uh... We do. Not me. So Ganon could only muster up one green rupee? We're gonna get... No, Dean, you're gonna get, like, 40 different donations that are gonna be, like, Ganon's minions. <laughs> oh, no. Mini Blend 1. Mini Blend 2. Moblin, Bokoblin, and P hats. Just the P hat army. 
I assume one rupee on. equals one dollar. Well, here we go. That, that's embarrassing. Yeah. I was going to say, bring it on. It just needs more money for Nami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got possessed by Ganon there. Yeah, you, you heard Ganon nothing. Pay no, attention, cause... pay no attention to the man behind the green curtain. Nothing happening here. <laughs> the wonderful wizard of Taz Giving 2020. This is another reason why P-Hats suck. Yeah. Any reason you didn't go for the grapple skip, right? Um, because I wanted to open that chest while I was over there. Okay. But that was also Dude, kind of a dumb me. move. Because... Scaring me, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back that way because, uh... I forgot to open up the blue war pot. I think it would be faster to backtrack at this point anyway. Yeah. Other than, I guess you're gonna have to shoot up all those vine things. No, I don't need to go the high route. Dude, this, uh, extra you cover know, thing, guys. though. Oh, shoot. I don't have a small key. Yeah. Can't open the door backwards if you don't have a small key. Unfortunately. This is the awkward moment when, uh... The, uh, the runner forgets how the game works. Because the runner is good at this. Some would consider me a professional. It's okay. The low percent Taz is a lot more well thought out. What's the last dungeon? Uh, last dungeon's taught G, so we get to end off with cutscenes. Nobody likes taught G. No one likes taught G. Yeah. But we still need to find Dean's Pearl to get it. That is true. I'm kind of interested in where that is. Oh, come on. Somebody so say Dean's Pearl? <laughs> Uh, so the reason I'm doing that little side hop leaf pole thing is because it is faster than watching Link, or I guess the post box in this case, jump into the bulb. Because Wind Waker <laughs> is a lot of just minor optimizations with the randomizer. Wind Waker SD is a lot of minor optimizations mixed in with tricks that make you want to cry. Because they're very difficult. Oh. Nice. Oh, come on. That was supposed to be a spin attack. Can I open chest? There we go. <laughs> I was like, I can, I can get this chest at some point. I just don't know at what point. <laughs> Chests are the final boss to this game. Yeah. Real. Along with ladders. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do the thing. Uh. I'm really forcing Ganondorf to wait at this point. Yeah. Too many bonks. That's a little skip we can do. Here. Oh, come on. No. Bro. Okay, we're gonna watch the cutscene now. It's not an actual cutscene, it's just... It's one of those things where you know you can do it faster if you do it a certain way, and you just want to you want to do it fast. Speedrunner want to go fast, but speedrunner go slow. Yeah, that's right there. Oh my goodness. 
There is nothing bad about the way I play this game. <laughs> So we just used a bomb to clip out. Uh, would one of you two care to explain how that works? Uh, so he puts a bomb down and then he backflips and he grabs the ledge. And then he taps left to push into the bomb. And the bomb pushes him back out. And he can just climb up out of bounds. That's basically that works. And I got my magic refill right there just because I don't want to really risk. Oh my. How is that? It's from across the entire. Oh my word. I didn't want to risk the uh, soup. Because that's right. like not something you just. Like when you have both servings, you're kind of safe to be aggressive with it. But once you're out, you're out. Unless you want to go back to grandma and waste. A yes, and a half. that's fine, that's fine. We won't mind if you do that. I will mind. Yes, Corbina was looking pretty empty today. Uh, such yeah, as the randomizer. <laughs> nice, now you can dupe over. Assuming you had a full bottle. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is... Painful. Let's see, do I have... Okay, I have all my dungeon items. Yeah, so you can kill these flowers with a bomb. I mean, you don't do it in the vanilla game because you don't have bombs here. But... Is there no timer? Uh, the timer is glitched out. I actually am running a personal timer for myself. We're currently at an hour and 37 minutes. Which is really good time overall, actually. Yeah. For having a handful of overworld plus top G left. I don't think... Yeah, there's no way we're getting sub 2 because top G, but... There's okay. yeah, Tachi's like 20 minutes alone. <laughs> it's crazy. Probably it's underestimate game. how slow that dungeon is. Okay. I just realized I needed to store a chest to get this. Um, Bro. Oh. This is an odd thing to have happen at this point. Usually we have at least one of two items that work to get that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess you could store double mafula and then make you no. work back down. Is that worth though? Probably not unless, you know. It's not. I'm going to open up <laughs> one more pot. <laughs> Shoot. How are you going to get back down with chest storage? Clip into the basement somehow? Nah, I'm gonna wait till Tachi. Cause So uh, mentioning war pots earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the uses where they're really useful. <laughs> um Yeah, I'll do overworld checks for a bit before I enter in Tachi, which it looks like I'm gonna have to do regardless because no dense pearl. You can yeah. do Morth Hover. No. <laughs> Morth hovers this amazingly hilarious glitch that allows you to skip the hook shot at the expense of your sanity of <laughs> trying to use your leaf to blow Morths to a very precise spot and the Morths just kind of do whatever. Th that physic was fixed for HD where like the leaf actually blows them in a logical direction but in SD they can go for down, back, left, right, like... They go any way they feel like. And yeah, so getting one to where you want it, to, you know, <laughs> like trying to lead a dead horse to water. A dead horse to water thing. I don't know what the old phrase saying <laughs> things are. It also uses a very specific uh, glitch called a zombie hover, which I suck at. Dang.
I mostly suck at it because I hate doing it, so I just never do it. Pretty much what I'm you have to do is Link has to die and then you start mashing. If one of you two wants to explain that in a bit more detail, feel free. Um, uh, there's, I don't know, I think it's like five, ten frames or something like that, that you can make an input after you stand up from uh, a death dealing blow like a bomb blast or something. And so you can input a jump slash on that to get you off the ground and then start mashing B to get uh, like midair jump slashes at a rate of at least 11 per second or greater and you can hover. And at the expense of your health, <laughs> wrist health, I think it's 9 to gain height but like 11 to at least like make it look like you're doing something. 13 is pretty like solid and then 15 is <laughs> tass <laughs> uh, and i think it's eight eight maintains anything below eight drops um so oh, that boss <laughs> that boss <laughs> um the bombs are nine frames to get jump slack really felt like a lot less frames but i suppose i was using hammer um, well, i said tens but I, I can't count that high spoilers <laughs> So Nintendo kind of never expected you to have bombs. So you can use bombs to barely hit the boss hitbox. And the cool part about that is the flower just kind of suspends itself. Yeah. But you still get teleported up. If you cut down the vine, exactly like, re like the boss comes back alive kind of thing. You didn't bother Wait. to call him a car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you cut down so those good. vines, the boss just re comes back alive, but I don't think you can kill it. No. Because there's no, no, there's nothing. Yeah, I think the warp, the the portal, warp stays portal stays there. It's just the fight restarts kind of thing. Fun fact, uh, this guy in chat, his name is, we just call him Jay. <laughs> Wist. And uh, he figured out that if you shoot the boss um, plant bulb, like the lower part of it with fire or ice arrows, uh, the hitbox. Actually, I think it works with regular arrows too, but it's just less powerful. You can hit the hitbox for the boss with arrows, and that's the fastest method too, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, the reason there's so much, we call it save warping, is it's just faster. Like, it's what, 13 seconds overall for a save warp? It's 10? Something like that, 12, 13-ish. So Very anytime... Fast you can get to where it is like if i can get someplace with a save warp over regular movement i'm going to save warp and there are a lot of situations usually with loading zones because loading zones are pretty slow especially if you had slow read speeds on hey <laughs> <laughs> and the cool thing about wind waker and it's kind of weird is it says like saving but it actually saves the file within the first frame of that text box coming up. Most so, of the time. <laughs> most of the time, yeah. There are some most rare, of the time. <laughs> rare exceptions, Dean being quite a few of those exceptions. The fastest way to get somewhere is to already be there or be a Taz. That comes Dude, later, don't memory. worry. Dude, my memory card is just jank because there's been times where on Twilight Princess where weird memory stuff happened. Like the other night I was trying to save and it said your memory card is damaged and cannot be used. I said Monka S and then just unplugged it and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> that is the classic solution. Your memory card cannot be used. What about this memory card? It's the exact same memory card, but sure. <laughs> Alright, this island's a fan favorite. Let's see if it's loaded. Angular is very often, for some reason, needed. So, so hopefully, Jay, uh, the third segment it does say any percent uh, has a showcase. Um, it's mostly going to be a glitch showcase, so you'll see that. Don't worry. Assuming you stay for the next hour, hour half. We'll see how well your execution is. Oh, this terribly. Next 
so guys, we've got another donation here. Ooh. You, you called it. Ganondorf's minions have chimed in. Only <laughs> they, They've given us five dollars. Five times what Ganon himself wow. said. And, and I've got their message here. It's, uh... We were sent to hinder your progress, but you're doing that well enough without our help. Please don't keep our boss waiting too much longer. Dang. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. He must right. be a really bad boss if they want him to die. He's the king of evil. Even his minions hate him. And he doesn't even donate five dollars like his minions. Well, I mean, if he donated one dollar, let's say those were like ten minions that pooled together, each minion did like fifty cents. True. It was just a horde of mini balloons or something. Yeah. <laughs> just... uh, it's purely cosmetic. There are no changes uh, in the hitbox. In fact, yeah. I think that's true for almost all the models. I'm not sure if we know of a way to change the hitboxes, like, dramatically yet. No, I'm pretty sure all the models. Like, even if you... Because Big Truck Z was doing, like, some stuff where he made, like, the enemies bigger and smaller. But the hitbox is still exactly the same. Isn't there a model with giant bombs? Is that? Maybe? I swear there was. I was watching somebody play, and they really big bomb. Oh. Uh. I don't know. I think that their hitboxes might still be the same though too. They're just yeah, very yeah. big. Wind Waker modding is very interesting. We have some of the most powerful tools I've seen in a while. Like yeah. we have what's called Wind Eater, which lets you just, you can rip any stage, you can import any stage like we had someone see cosmetic mods what's going on there right now someone was making an ocarina of time hyrule field in wind waker um big shark z you've heard us mention that name a lot because they're like one of the big modders uh he made an entire island and substituted it in for another island for one of his mods so it's just a lot of really cool stuff what about the uh, Pokemon mod or the Dark Linka mod? Too many mods to keep track of. Yeah. So much, it's dude. The Z's latest project with the project. You can with change the your boat cosmetics to be like any Pokemon for that one, I remember. Like Whale Lord or Mantine or something like that. Lapras, I think, was one of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so personally, when I mod, I do frame by frame which is a very time-consuming way to do it, unfortunately. So, I've spent a lot of time just... pushing A, which is my frame advance button. But yeah, I do save states with frame advance. Oh, shut up. I couldn't care less. Wait, crane. Bad muscle memory. Bad muscle memory. Bad crane. Bad. This is how you go over your estimate, crane. Yeah. Uh, each, for Dolphin, each time you load a save state, it's considered a re-record. So the low percent Taz, I believe, has over 2,000 re-records, and it's only 14 minutes long. Hey. Ooh. That was a that was a fun task to make actually. Very painful though. Oh come on. This game's physics are very well designed. That's a surprisingly no low number. I mean, I suppose it's a really straightforward Taz. But we'll, we'll go more into the low percent Taz in its own time block. 
bottle percent. Oh, bottle percent. Nice. So, so your cranes is gonna finish some wood fall. This is why we here. call it bottle percent, is we have every single bottle. Yeah. But you don't have the soup I to do I do not it. have the soup to dupe it. That is correct. <laughs> we cannot get soup percent. Good. Okay, so we're really running out of places that we can go. <laughs> The light, like, the fire ice arrows really helped, but it's still, like, uh, not a ton. No. I guess you can say hi to Creep. I can! Guys, did I skip Northern Ferry? You did. Why do I keep doing that? You rushed FF. Ah, no, but we're supposed to get it beforehand. True. Dean's Pearl. Okay, do I finish clearing the overworld first just because I am missing some items? Or do no. I rush Tachi? Or Tachi. Rush Tachi? Okay. Yeah. That's the wrong word. That's the right word. Yeah, because clearing Tachi is going to be, like, insane. You're betting that it has... That's true. Absolutely. So good. <laughs> uh, I love it. Ten out of ten. Uh, Pogi, there is unfortunately not a timer being shown on the stream, but I am running my own personal timer, which has me at an hour and fifty-seven minutes. So, uh, oof. Not even sub very two. Very far from sub two. I'm really scared about my estimate, but I also was showing off a lot of stuff, so I feel less bad about my estimate. Audio desync, Murphy 2OP, please nerf. We are working on the audio. Um, it has been interesting. Nice. The double small key. CompuCat from Tech here. The audio is was the audio is having a fun time. Okay, another... Oh, sorry, go ahead. He's going to be with you for the next couple hours, and uh, yeah, this is just going to be the end of it for me tonight. Uh, thank you all for having me. It's been a pleasure to help to raise money and awareness for NAMI, and uh, to hang out with you guys and have just such a fun time today. Thank you so much. Can't wait to meet the the next host. ways to make walls suggestions. 
For example, we went through the wall with the door. We just went through the wrong wall with the right door. Hard to explain that one, but we just clipped out of bounds. Yeah. And Crane took a little fall, but he recovered. Why don't you just clip out of bounds? Why don't you just clip out of bounds and go into every single room, skipping rooms and stuff? Uh, that is because rooms are very weird. They don't load until you actually open the door. That animation loaded the room, and when it closes, it unloads the room that we just came from. So that's why we can't always clip out of bounds and enter into places. Uh, there are exceptions where there are loading zones. Uh, that would be like mini bosses, bosses, and uh, stage changes. So anytime the screen does a full fade out to either black or white, that is a stage change, and those have loading zones that always exist, with one exception that we don't understand, which is Star Island, where it just doesn't load the loading zone until you break the rock. It must be, uh, don't must know why. Be, uh, tied to the, the cutscene or the trigger of that rock. Might set a flag or something. Yeah. That one's just an interesting exception because there are no other known loading zones that work like that. It sucks because they fixed that. It sucks because they fixed that idea in um, Twilight Princess, so you can't skip any of the boss keys because they're all linked to the door opening animation. Fine. So this is just another fast little out of bounds clip that we can do. We call it floor one skip because we skipped the first floor stuff. Uh, this skips like an entire cutscene, an entire room. It's a really good skip. And it's usually for most people, that's like the first out of bounds skip they ever learn because it's a lot freer. Dean's audio coming through twice, Aka awkward. But okay. twice as much Dean, I'm a fan of that. It also lets you skip one of the small keys in Tachi, which is really useful. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you can time a roll there, and you'll roll onto the floating platform during the cutscene. Yeah, it's because uh, we're currently hacking. I shouldn't say hacking, we're cheating, and we're using Discord audio for a second. That's what I'd assume it is. There it is. Hog. So yeah, that's a pretty nasty command melody placement. Uh, nasty Earth Gods placement too. Very unfriendly songs. Luckily enough, we didn't need them. Like, the command melody definitely would have been nice to have. It would have made a lot of what I did in Earth Temple a bit faster. Yeah. But it, it's not like the most required item ever. Yeah. Just to take a stock. Cray needs uh, his light arrows, one sword upgrade, one shot, and a boss here for the shard. He will be in what we call go mode, having everything we need to beat the game. All those checks we've done are now in logic? Yeah. Logic is a suggestion. Awesome. Fixed awesome. Audio. Fixed audio. <laughs> He's back. I'll watch somebody with, Love I'll watch somebody with 300 bit rate, but if it's bad audio, I'm out. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. For real, though. I don't mind watching a Minecraft stream, but if it sounds bad, then I don't want to watch the Minecraft stream. Yeah. Legend of Zelda Minecraft, Legend of Zelda Minecraft Edition. Oh, those were the days. I had a stream like that for a solid month, I want to say. <laughs> yeah, it's how so... they got this pretty slow. It's bringing these statues to the hub room. Cutscenes. Cutscenes upon cutscenes upon cutscenes upon... 
No, I'm not capturing my desktop audio, Jay. At least, not yet. And even then, that wouldn't get captured. This is console. We're playing off the Wii U, which you can do by, if you homebrew your Wii U, uh, and by extension, the Wii menu of your Wii U, uh, you can use what's called Nintendo to run GameCube ISOs. And then I just use a GameCube adapter so I can use a GameCube controller. Tech has found the culprit and stabbed it with a Kokiri sword. That's a little brutal, but okay. <laughs> There's the <laughs> ring. Wow. Are you going to go back for that one check? Or are you just going to gamble at nothing? Um... I can clear the rest of this floor before the gamble is really suboptimal because it's just straight out of the room. So I think I'll clear the rest of this hub room and then head back, depending on what it is. That does mean, though, that if I find a sword, we can do the Hyrule gamble. Wow, that friendly bubble up there. That is a rare occurrence. <laughs> Bubble bumping. Yeah. Nintendo doesn't. Oh dear, I just realized all my visual cues are going to be off for this. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. This is going to be a little bit of a YOLO. Oh, Look at yeah. That. Clean. Solid YOLO. Oh, come on. Not clean. Less clean. Jay was just talking about, Jay was just talking about the corner spot where you line up against the pillar. The um, backflip side I, hop? Um. Maybe, but if you line yourself up into the pillar and then you just do like five side hops. There's, I don't know, a setup for it, but I never found it to be consistent. Go to like a texture on, go to like a texture on the floor. That trick specifically right there is why model, uh, using a specific model is important because of uh, feet sizes, uh, visuals, textures with that. Yeah, it can change up pretty significantly enough to affect that trick because of how precise that side hop setup is. Hey, nice map. So I'm hoping for go mode here. Come on. Aw, oh, dang, Crane. If you would have shot the eye there and just blasted your leaf right after the bow shot, you would have taken them both out and, uh, during the cutscene. Oh, that would have Because they smart. flew towards the middle. Is that like the good RNG? I usually yeah, just Yeah, if they're both, both flying towards the good. middle. Yeah. Otherwise, I would just like take the one on the, the left out because as you leaf over to the get your statue, it will aggro on you and you just can leaf it out of the air as you're flying. I thought about releasing like movement optimization guides or something like that for each dungeon. Maybe that would help anything out, but we'd have to optimize everything fully first. <laughs> yeah. It's been cool though seeing people make guides recently for stuff. Like Trog and Rusty making storage guides. And stuff like that. That, that way Bob can stop yelling at me for using inoptimal strats. <laughs> Okay. There's a lot of times where I don't use optimal strats because I'm like, whatever, it's a two or three second time loss versus like a 20 or 30 second time loss, and that's huge. If you're just consistent throughout, that's probably going to get you wins more than, you know, a couple two, three second time saves. I hate yeah. this timing. I shouldn't have jumped down, but I did. Um, I'm trying to think through the logic for hookshot. Because bombs were in diamond steps, so... Hookshot has to be... Okay, we're... It can't be here. 
It can't be in Forbidden Woods because Grapple was bottom of Earth Temple, which requires Command Melody, which was on Tingle Statue. Yeah. So probably a fair island or thorn. I am really bad at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Finally. <laughs> oh. oh, I didn't even realize I was almost out of bombs. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was scripted. Yeah, Jaywis would be really helpful without two. We can get a couple of us together on a Discord call and just grind out like one dungeon at a time. I think Bob wanted to do like a thing with that. Just Lux picked up. It's, it's nice to do that, but I think that like in terms of a video format that people could reference. Yeah. That's like, yeah. Because ease of access is big when it comes to like tutorials. It's like not only is this tutorial like easy to understand, but it's got like timestamps, it's organized, really easy to follow, you know. Guys, I don't think light air I think light arrows are in the overworld. Oh yeah, you wanna bet? <laughs> oh let's go. Oh, bop, bop, what? Bop. That was I, totally I, not scripted. I promise that wasn't scripted, I promise. <laughs> Mr. Spoiler Log strikes again. Okay, there are two things I want to be very clear about. I have not played this seed before, and it was generated literally three minutes before this. Uh. I was literally just trying to think through the logic, and I was like, well, bombs were locked behind Hookshot, and so Hookshot needs to be in the overworld. Light arrows can't be anywhere. Um, they have to be in the overworld, uh, because I think that we're gonna get, like, hookshot from Fire Mountain or something like that. Uh, no, instead it was just the next check. <laughs> <laughs> um. Brain the brain. So Big we're brain. De we're definitely not gonna gamble Hyrule because we know hookshot is overworld, but I hate that trick sometimes. Um, Just do Moth Hover. Hookshot. hookshot can't be in a lot of places. It can't be in Cabana. It can't be. Where did we get Hammer? Hammer is Overworld. It's the Wind Tingle. Windfall. Tingle. Yeah. I am. I am betting Ask that we Thorn. are going to get Hookshot and Thorn. Yeah. On a fairy island. Okay. Are you going to sail there from here then? Uh, probably. That's gonna be the fastest way to go. Wait, have you done Southern? Uh, it can't be in Southern because bombs were locked behind Hookshot and we have two bows locked behind, uh, bombs. Yeah, that's true. Because bombs lock Command Melody, which locks the first bow and the third bow. So that's why I think it's Thorned. Because I don't have any other checks that are logically before that. Yeah. So the question is, where is the sword? Uh. Oh. oh, come <laughs> on. You give it to me and then you take it away? I haven't done Cabana Stand. yet, but Grappling Hook was Basement of Earth Temple. Yeah. So Hookshot can't be in Cabana. I suppose the last sword could be... But then the question is, do I want to prioritize Hookshot or the Last Sword? To which I kind of want to say I want to prioritize Hookshot. Uh, you can go Cabana after this and then swim to Thorn. The Seed is super evil? Swim. The Seed is actually pretty nice. Oh yeah, Cabana Super Swim Thorn would be a good play. Shoot. That is a good play. Uh, we'll do that. Might as well do at least one camera lock super swim. <laughs> the seed, I'm not going to say the seed is evil. I am going to say that I am incompetent. Um, the nice thing is that um, we'll be back on schedule.
at some point. <laughs> nice. So there is a chance the that now? sword is in here. Oh shoot, yeah, I should go get that check. Because that could have sword. If, if we had the last sword, my life would be so much easier. Yeah. There we go. Was uh, Forsaken Fortress was empty other than shard, right? Yeah. But there's no way that you wouldn't have done it by now anyway. I'm gonna get a quick magic refill in here. It's too scared to see. I really don't want to lose my soup before Puppet Ganon. Okay. Pro. Nice. Can nice. the uh, big key chest be hook shot? No. Grapple hook was Earth Temple. Oh, yeah. Uh, save that. See, a very manka esque thing about ledge clips is sometimes the ledge clips are free and other times you, like, can barely mess it up. Which you then have to compensate with what's called a roll clip. Okay, we'll risk the soup dupe. Soup dupe risked. Nice. I see, um, I see a lot of people mess up uh, a bomb push out of bounds because they push into the bomb too quickly like before Link straightens out on the ledge and if you do that it looks like it pushes you but it won't because you're just not far enough into the wall or stable I don't know let's like say that. though you're killing it with these giant bombs though I would be <laughs> struggling probably it is a lot of muscle memory is kicking in for me right now yeah I dare you to play with the CJ model. No, oh. no, I'm not playing. I, that is one of the models I removed. Uh, I was like, I have not seen that, and I do not know what it has with it. I think that there's some Monka TOS voice clips for some of the stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that would probably be a, a good thing to not have. However, the Wind Waker is a uh, like a 1980s boombox. It's yeah, that's dope. really funny. Oh. Wall. So this is like the second time we get to see this. Hey everyone, this is uh this room. This time I actually like I, you can do this with bow, but there's not a setup that's been made for it yet, and it's extremely precise because these switches are timed. So, like, it's possible in theory, but no one has been insane enough to figure it out. You should toss it. Honestly, I might. And it was empty. Gosh, dang it. At least you know now. Yeah, I can cry in peace. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh. I was like, maybe you should have saved at Tatji. So that when you got that check, then you would have just uh, reset back to Tachi if it was nothing. Which is a a strat that's really subtle that I thought of like a long time ago. I don't know. I thought about that, but then I'd have to do floor one skip again. And I wasn't sure if that was faster than just coming back to this warp pot. It would have been comparable, yeah. There's a lot of very subtle strats where it's like, well... We'll go, we'll save it Windfall, but we'll check Northern Ferry, and if it has nothing, you'll just reset your game without saving back to Windfall. But if it does have something, then you just wasted like five seconds saving your game, so. Kind of a risk-reward thing, but not having to sit through the Ferry cutscene definitely pays off for that, and an extra warp and stuff. The mm -hmm. sword? Dang. Alright, swords Dang. out there somewhere in the world. 
I mean, sword could technically still be in Hyrule, but there is no way that I am gambling sword in Hyrule when I don't have hookshot and I don't know SD Morth Hover. Nor do I want well, to do SD Well, it's the exact same setup. It's the exact same setup, except for the Morth. <laughs> Like, visually, everything is the same, but just the more. <laughs> you spend two to three minutes just getting that Morth in position. It's, like, so not worth it. We should petition Lago to fix Morth physics. Fix Morth physics for the glitch that no runner wants to use, Lago. Hey, thanks, bye. I mean, bye. they <laughs> would if it was fixed. Just bring whatever the line of code is that they fixed the stick bouncing physics and the morph physics. Think of all the Taz's that would ruin though. I think stick bouncing physics still works in HD, it's just way stupid harder. At least we have HD rolls. That's a lot easier because you just say, hey, this crouch value, increase it. The physics one is a lot harder because it's like, hey, your uh, your entire block of code, I'm going to rewrite that and then save the ISO with it. That, that's a little more technically demanding. Ash, why don't you just use bombs only for this fight? Uh, it's a really bad way to do it. If you notice, I'm using regular arrows for the eyes, but fire arrows for the hands. The reason I do fire arrows is just because it's 1R. Like, I only have to swap once. I could use ice arrows as well. And they one-shot the hands, but they don't work. Like, they don't do the one-shot feature for the eyes. So it's better to just conserve some magic and use regular arrows. Everyone loves Godon. Yay. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> that was very and exciting. Thank you for that. It is Frank. possible to kill Godon exclusively with bombs, but... <laughs> no Tasser has even been willing to try it. <laughs> I think Acer did it. Like, once. I think he tried it and he got one cycle. After hours of attempts. Yeah, it's not a fun, not a fun thing. I remember Trog talking about getting a two cycle for Jahala it took him two weeks of grinding straight, <laughs> grinding out. I would, my brain would turn to mush. Doing yeah. straight yeah. Jahala tasks for two weeks, dude. There's, there was some, there's some stuff that you have to go a little insane with for Wind Waker. Um, or uh, you'll... enter, I enter ice ring without ice or fire arrows. <laughs> <laughs> That one, oh my gosh, I really want to find that video again. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a sucky one. If I remember correctly, it's what, like, an insane speed tingle balloon? Yeah, you have to get so much speed that the island doesn't load, and then you're able to pull frame bef one frame before it does load into the loading zone perfectly. Perfect speed, perfect angle, perfect pull, everything. Am I talking okay. to myself here? <laughs> yes. Um, so unfortunately for us, although we do have the exit right there, like that's for Hyrule, I'm missing a sword and hook shot. So I could technically beat the game right now. It would just be two very stupid tricks back to back because I'd have to do barrier skip, which is precise. And I don't know the setup, but Dean is here and he knows the setup. You um, just and drop the bomb at the right time. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, and then I would have to do more hover, which I know the setup for, but it involves hovering, and I hate hovering a lot. Like a the lot, setup lot. for for bomb or uh, for barrier skip is like when you practice it and know what it is, it's like okay, that makes sense. But like explaining how that when we press start at the exact same time to pull out a bomb and then swivel the camera around to a specific visual point because this camera has a constant swivel speed uh, and then using that visual to know exactly that that's the correct animation to drop your frame perfect bomb on it's like uh it's kind of no wonder they never accidentally found it over the course of how many thousands of hours of community joint attempts to get that figured out 
Yeah. Uh, yes, Pogi, I do actually. I really hate hovering. That's why I run hoverless in HD, is because I literally just hate to hover. So, if I can stop targeting rats, walls are suggestions, but more importantly, clippable. So I hit the switch through the wall. We'll do it again. Stupid rats! Good, good at I wasn't looking the first time. I need to see it again. Yeah, so it just it just works by hitting it. It's simple. You just hit hit the switch. Interesting. I'm gonna try that next time I do a run. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Dude, these are rats, though. Rats, bats, sea hats. It's just a bomb push, though. You're not wrong. Bombs, you know, pushing with bombs is really cool, and I'm really pumped for the low percent Taz because, like. There's a lot of wonky crap in that. Um, let's see. Fastest way to get to... I think it's this way. Yeah. I love watching Tass movement. Oh, they do insanely, like, what looks to be simple stuff in the most complicated of ways or something, usually. I will say the rolls in the Taz are not the straightest rolls. But that's because they are done by hand, and I have shaky hands. Um, but there's some other movement that's really cool. Gosh, uh, no, I want to super swim time. <laughs> oh my. Uh, yeah, we'll super swim. Ah. Uh, First one of the game. Yeah. Only one of the game. I can't really justify any other ones. Swimming to Thorn Fairy is like the play. Okay, if this is not hookshot, I'm gonna be very confused. Because my brain can't logically figure out another situation yeah. of where hookshot could be. If you have sensitivity to flashing images, you might want to look away for a minute. Thankfully, yeah. it's night, though. Uh, There's a ledge here. Yeah, I'm trying to. Is that to what you were trying out. to avoid? No, I was trying to just get to the right side of the island for Thorn. Um, Sploosh City. I can use this to get some cheeky air refills. Which I want to do. Come on. Let me get it. You have more than enough speed refills. to get there, or air. I think this should work. Thankfully it's night though, as it turns into morning. Well, doing super swims at night is a lot nicer on the eyes. Alright, you can look back now. I yes, we just... just did Paza. Very, 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 very fast. <laughs> I love Tass Paza. You mean where we don't pause? Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, this is a good time for donation since we're just going to be randomly clearing the overworld. For this hookshot right here. Oh yeah, hookshot's going to be here and then we just got to find sword. All right, well, we have a $10 donation from Helmok who says, Ow, my head. <laughs> Feels like I headbutted an iron skull on a stick. I don't remember much. Something about a post box? Oh, yeah, I need to mail in some support for Nami. Now I'm going to go sleep for a week. And we have a $2 donation from Randomizer, who says your hookshot is in the last spot you will look. <laughs> Almost. Almost. I mean, I only broke the randomizer logic down to the point where I was like, it literally has to be here or the seed's unbeatable. Um, this is where things get hard though, because I am missing a sword and I do not know where it is. Probably in the Ganon's Tower Maze chest. It, yep. it can't be in there. I actually did debate for half a second of having you live teach me during the stream barrier skip. Because no, I just way don't too know hard. the entire setup, but uh, I, I went against it. If you follow my guide, like the visual is 100% consistent because the shadow are always the exact same. 
because of how it renders shadows, I guess. I swear and if then, it's a vanilla Master Sword, I wouldn't be sad. Yeah. The accidental glitched logic, whoops. I really wish glitched logic was more of a thing. It was like more refined and then more people had interest in it. Although maybe logic, after spoiler Captain. log. After spoiler log, maybe we just do glitched logic spoiler log or something like that for a bit and then get a feel for it. I don't know. What about minimum logic spoiler log? How does that sound? Can some of those seeds even be unbeatable? Nope. There is... It's phrased this way. There is just enough logic to not soft lock. Probably. With or without storage, chest storage and stuff? Uh, chest storage is only included for boss key skips. Okay. Parkour, parkour it's, time. It's really strange to see you wow. enter in a... Enter in a dungeon and it's the same dungeon you entered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, vanilla fire mountain, let's go. Oh. Not gonna worry about that keys right there. Alright, come on, sword. Sword? Sword? This is the sword, hundred percent. Okay. Good movement. Chests are our final boss, I guess. Wow. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Two calls in a <laughs> We all swear that we have no idea that this seed was any yeah, of this this is... stuff that we've called. <laughs> yeah. Like what? <laughs> yeah. That's a one in three chance, wasn't it? Because there was. Uh... Oh wait, no, you did ice ring, didn't you? No, we we have tons of checks left that could still be sword. Uh, uh, you have windfall and stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was a one in eight chance. Pog, twelve percent. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. What's the timer at? Two twenty. Uh, we're at two thirty one. So we are going to go overestimate, but the good news is, is we're only cutting into the next runner, which is me. Um, so we're not that cutting guy into sucks. really anything. Yeah, he really does suck. <laughs> this uh, kind of startled me on my first 1.8 seed to walk into this castle and see all these enemies. That was a save. Hey there, Dark Nut. Bye there, Dark Nut. The next runner actually would be Dolphin, Pogi, you're correct, but it's me playing through Dolphin, playing through a file. <laughs> yes. You may not uh, notice, that it may not look like anything very important that is going on, but every single time that Crane is rolling, he has to make a reaction within a two frame window to continue pressing A for maximum velocity. Very interesting. Are you, are you talking about the Taz or with the RTA? I'm talking about you rolling right now. Oh, okay. I was like, in the Taz, I just set it to alternate pressing A every single frame and then just try different directions. Very lazy way of Tazzing, but that is, very effective. Wow. <laughs> it's really hard to do that, I bet, because the rolls being straight. Imagine if you had curved rolls. Yeah. But then this would be like Twilight Princess, and that's shortened to TP, which I'm not sure I'd want to play. The game <laughs> is like toilet paper, basically. These stairs, absolute garbage. I hate them. Just break slide into the door. And trial skip skip. Yep, there's an option that we have set to just disable the trial door existing right there. It's a very nice setting. Otherwise, everybody would learn trial skip, which is actually kind of hard. It's HD rolls, so it's not like as bad, I guess. Not as bad, but like if you're going to do the one where you leaf on top of the uh, 
bridge oh. pillar thingies. That one's really precise. Oh, come on. Oof. I was unfortunately not expecting to get the best RNG, so I was just kind of rotating around aimlessly, so I didn't know which direction he was in. I was hoping it's to just snipe him. Behind you. I know it's always behind me, but I didn't know when <laughs> I didn't know when behind me was registered by the game. Oh, so hot. That was a side hop. That was a side hop. Thank you, game. Actually, Pogi, they're worse. And this is only saying that because I tried to Taz those stairs and it was the most painful thing of my life. You have to go to a solid like 45 or 50 degree angle to the stairs, basically. Uh, for the other stairs, yes. For the Ganon's Tower stairs, it was pretty much just try different approach angles. But then you would have to readjust. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did not hit either of the... Wow. Uh, then you, so you approach in different angles, but then you would have to readjust uh, after the first roll. So it's a really convoluted mix of approach angles and the next roll angle. So I think I walk up like one stair or two stairs at the end. Come on. Okay, let's hope this goes well. Yeah. The hardest boss. Not gonna go well. Eating beer. Okay, one. Oh. <laughs> Run away for the attack. This is such a bad angle for that. Come on. PG. Attack. Oh shoot. I did not need to <laughs> roll right when he had. Like, I thought I had a bit more time. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. That was an okay PG1. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Yeah. So that's like. For those of you unfamiliar with Wind Waker, this is like the dumbest boss in the game because the movement of that first phase is completely random and the fastest way is to hit the tail without cutting it down. So you're just kind of left up just sniping the thing and praying. <clears throat> Love that. The puppet Ganon task though. All right. Such a good Taz. Nope. Right. So there's like, how many frames is it for Crip Shot? Is it like two frames? Three? It's two frames. Right. There's a two frame window. Uh, first Crip Shot is five frames and the second nice. one's three. That was Crip Shot. It allows you to skip another fall down cycle. You can get it back to back. We're gonna go for Trog Shot once. If Jay West is gonna fight me, I'm gonna fight him because <laughs> I did testing. Oh. Once becomes twice. Oh. oh. That looked like it should have hit. Are you going to do ultra fast climb strats? Uh, I'll probably mash a little bit, but my hands are a little cold. So I won't climb too high. Jay, another thing is it probably also depends on your angle. Like high, how high up you shoot for the grip shot. Or trog shot? Oh, for trog shot? Uh. Oh man, this is really bad mashing. <laughs> I 
I'm not pushing it further. It's not bad. Um, we're abusing some some factors. Unfortunately, it actually is about 14 minutes, but we don't talk about that. I might have a mistimed it. I like grapples get set up was discovered by Trog fairly recently. It's pretty cool. Hog shot. Alright, final boss. I kept him waiting. Okay, Ganon. I'm done getting letters from you, from your minions, from your accountant. <laughs> from the mini really buns. Sending your accountant after. Zelda. Zelda just didn't that... shoot right there. So time will be coming up when uh, Link attacks or stabs again in the noggin. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Rip. Kick. I forgot which way the camera was gonna face. What the? All right. This has just been a wonky camera. And All right. Time. Nice. GG's. <sighs> 240-41. GG. That was <laughs> slow. Oh my word. Well, okay. with all the major uh, dungeons being needed, it's... I don't know. A little slower. Usually. Uh, what Ganondorf's gonna do is turn into stone. So... He rocked him.